So what's in this box could absolutely change your life forever. Okay, well maybe not change your life forever, but this is pretty darn cool. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun, and today we're looking at this new product from Moondog Labs. And I would be lying if I didn't say I wasn't very excited about this. Is it a new anamorphic lens? Maybe, maybe not. What is this, you ask? Oh my goodness. Someone has finally made one. A filter mount designed for the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. This is it. This is the Moondog Labs 52mm ND filter mount. And you might be thinking to yourself, this doesn't look like any ND filter mount I've ever seen. And you would be right. It has a very interesting design where you connect this to a bayonet mount case, such as a moment case. And it just so happens I have a case right here. And so what you do is you line up this back piece with the outermost lens on the top of the phone. Twist it around, and now it's connected. Then you would attach an ND filter. This is a 52 millimeter mount. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Like a lot of filmmakers, I don't like to have to buy ND filters that are a variety of different sizes. So I use step-up rings. Here are several right here. This is a 52 to 58 millimeter. This is a 52 to 62 millimeter. And then this is a big boy one. This is 52 to 77. I have a lot of 77 millimeter filters, ND filters, polarizers, and even a black magic filter that go on the 77 millimeter mount. It's really common for Canon lenses in particular, the bigger lenses, the EF mount stuff. And so here is a Tiffin 62 millimeter mount variable ND. So what I would need to do is take this step up ring, which is 52 to 62, and you just twist it on. So now the step up ring is on and I can add this then to it. All right, so now the variable ND is on. And so now I can go shoot in bright conditions and control the exposure with the variable ND, which is great. So now I'm in Filmic Pro. Go to camera. Go to ultra wide now just so you can see that it covers the whole thing. If I could set it where I want, right now it's at 98 ISO and 124 shutter. So now I have it set here and then I can control the amount of light that comes in with this ND. All the way dark, all the way wide open. And I'm not having to use the controls in Filmic Pro. So I'm simply spinning the ND filter. So that's a very convenient way to shoot in bright conditions. Now I'm inside right now, so this wouldn't you wouldn't use this inside. This would be for outside in the bright sun. But using a variable ND like this is a really great way to go. And the main thing it does on a smartphone, of course, is create the proper motion blur. Variable ND on. That is 148 shutter at 78 ISO. This is what it looks like at the same setting with the variable ND off. Obviously way overexposed. Now that's auto settings. Variable ND off. And now the shutter is 1 over 11.52, so it's very fast. Variable ND on, 148 shutter. Same thing, wide lens. Same thing, tele lens.
One thing I wanted to point out, and I don't want there to be any confusion, this new ND filter is not actually related to the Moondog Labs anamorphic lens, which they're actually best known for. And this is their ND filter mount for that. So this goes over the anamorphic lens, and then you put an ND on this. So this is a completely different product. A lot of these lens companies are expanding their offerings, which is smart. Moment's doing very similar stuff. They just released a variable ND filter for traditional cameras, although you can use it on smartphones as well. As a matter of fact, you could use their new variable ND with this setup right here. You could use a step-up ring and put the Moment variable ND on your phone. So that's a first look at the Moondog Labs filter mount for the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. I gotta say, this is a really handy little gadget. I really like it. And I really think it's a no-brainer to pick one of these up and just throw it in your bag. Look how small that is. Super light, and it works great. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.